everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down, everybody. <laughs> so let's talk about the arrest of Sam Bankman Freed, AKA mashed potato. <laughs> It's already starting. He couldn't hide forever. I mean, especially when you look like a cross between Mark Cuban, a cross your heart bra, and a wad of pubic hair. It's getting worse. He was scooped up in the Bahamas on Monday and is accused of defrauding investors out of billions. Charges include wire fraud, securities fraud, money laundering. Fortune called him the next Warren Buffett. But in their defense, it's a common name. <laughs> that joke deserved a better laugh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it really is a good joke. Screw everybody. Let's recap what this clown did. Since launching in May 2019, his cryptocurrency firm FTX raised $1.8 billion by promoting itself as a safe platform for trading assets. But it turns out that was as safe as finding a suitable dating partner on a subway platform. <laughs> by the way, cryptocurrency is Latin for not real money. He then diverted those funds to another company without telling anyone. And from there, he made a bunch of undisclosed investments, lavish real estate purchases, huge political donations to Democrats in time for the midterms, of course. And worse, not once did he consider breast reduction surgery. <laughs> he could have used the fat to make soap, and then he could have used the soap. <sighs> but instead, he's going to be the most popular guy on a cell block. He's going to get passed around like me when I dress up like a plate of potato skins. And I do. You know, I kind of wish I knew him in high school. I would have made it to second base. <laughs> Still, the whole time he was telling investors, including celebrities hypnotized by his cleavage, that it truly was the safest investment. But then it imploded. FTX filed for bankruptcy, leaving millions of people unable to access their funds. And the pyramid scheme was exposed like Sam's D cups in a wet t shirt contest. <laughs> Meanwhile, actual pyramids are like, hey, humans, leave us out of this and go slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Don't knock the pyramids. If I could afford it, I'd do the same thing for my grave. You know, they say you can't take it with you, but how does anyone know that? <laughs> but I feel bad for Bankman because we have a lot in common. For one, we both pretend to donate money. <laughs> and we're both polyamorous, although I sleep with people. <laughs> oh. But this whole thing is a lesson in why it's good to trust your instincts when it seems like someone's more full of crap than Anna Navarro's bidet after Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> that was hard to say. Thank you. You applaud over the meanest things. <laughs> and you know someone is full of it when they virtue signal. He says he's vegan. Sure, he got that fat eating vegetables. It's not possible. But that's the armor they donned to protect themselves from exposing their real motives. See, Black Lives Matter. Fact is, anyone who saw this video a while back knew something was up. Sam is not a traditional billionaire because he believes in the concept of earn to give. Earning to give is thinking about which causes, which charities save the most lives per dollar. Next year, he's planning to donate $500 million a year. And next decade, he will probably give away more than $10 billion. And he is funding everything you can think of. Global warming. It's one of the biggest problems that we have to tackle together as a world. COVID-19 preparedness. We have to be ready for the next pandemic and of course animal welfare animals deserve to live just like we do it's <laughs> also why I'm vegan <laughs> he's like a live-action Ernie from Sesame Street <laughs> even a fifth grader could watch that and think there's no way I'm giving a dime to this old cafeteria lady with saggy boobs <laughs> but as recently as last week this knucklehead was still posturing Look, I screwed up. Like, I was CEO. I had a responsibility here. I had a responsibility to be on top of what was going on on the exchange. I wish I had done much better at that. From my understanding, there were 
documents drafted up that is, you know, bi-legal that were covering what was happening. And, um, you know, frankly, I have sort of a tendency to be involved in many things, to be, uh, you know, spread thin sometimes. Mm. <laughs> spread thin? <laughs> Every time I see him, I think of the slow motion opening of Baywatch. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I still do, as a matter of fact. And what of the suspicious timing of his arrest? He was supposed to testify before Congress this week. There he would have been grilled like a half pound patty at George Foreman's house, but now he's exempt. Now his be Democrat beneficiaries are off the hook, like the whale trappers who threw back Joy Behar. <laughs> Why? No! There's no... Don't egg on my writers. <laughs> so once again, the public gets nothing. Was he spared because he has a history of donating millions to Democrat campaigns? Well, does a bear crap in the woods? Or a human who identifies as a bear? We can't say for sure, but hell, I will. After all, I'm a commentator, not an anchor. I could tie this whole thing to cattle mutilations if I want to. Tucker's not the only one who cares about cow crime. <laughs> but maybe he's being spared because he was their kind of Democrat. So they looked the other way faster than Hannity when I asked him to shave my back. <laughs> Unlike Elon Musk, who the Dems deem evil, even though he's trying to help shareholders not bilk them. But that's how Dems treat someone who's fighting child porn. I guess they prefer their billionaires to be phony leftists instead of real people doing real stuff. If only someone would have questioned what this fraud was up to three years ago when he started this mess, but they were too busy trying to destroy another billionaire who was doing real stuff for the American people. Yeah. Let's welcome tonight's guest. His anti-woke scripts promote liberal fits. Author of the great new book, The New Puritans, Andrew Doyle. He's one gift we'd like to unwrap early. Host of Can't Cancel, Rob Smith. Rob Smith! Yeah! Wow. Uh, don't hate her because she's beautiful. There are a lot of other reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Fox News contributor, catch him! And his opponents end up like the three wise men seeing stars. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus. So, Andrew, congratulations on the successful great new book. If you're not familiar with Andrew Doyle, he was on the forefront of satirizing woke culture. You were one of the early people there on Twitter. I won't say what you did because there are some oh. people who don't know what you did. No, it was who I was. I, was, I invented a character called Titania McGrath. Right. who was like one of those sort of very posh, young, female intersectional activists who's really, really rich and has got everything in the world but thinks she's really oppressed. Right. You know, that Like kind every of woke person. Like pretty much all of them, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And there's something funny about that, isn't there? People going online and complaining about being oppressed when they go back to their mansion at night yeah. and all the rest of it. You know, she thinks she's the new Martin Luther King, basically. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, she's better. Yeah, she's better than mine. She's Luther better. King. Yeah, exactly. She's better because she knows that it's not about the character; it is about the color of your skin. And also, he had toxic masculinity, didn't he? Yes, so, he was. So, he yes, was a man. She was better. Yeah. You know what? What do you make of this whole situation? It's a strange group, isn't it? This whole like oh. bizarro culty. Well, I've been reading into the backstory. Of it. I mean, for a start, I don't trust him. I don't trust anyone who doesn't own a hairbrush. Yes. I have no interest in that. <laughs> I think it. But, but it's more, because he does. He have a hobbity kind of look, doesn't he? Like, yes. Sort of vaguely middle earth or something about. But the thing is, if you look into his background as well, so they were all living together. All these FTX executives. Yes. They were living together in this luxury penthouse mm -hmm. in, in the Bahamas, but they were all having sex with each other. Right. So no wonder they lost the money. They were distracted, right? They were doing yeah. all this kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. And they said, well, this is because, you know, we're into polyamory, mm -hmm. which is what we used to call cheating. Yes. You know. <laughs> yeah. Which, and I think that's great. I mean, what a great kind of genius rebranding, you know, because <laughs> if your partner catches you in bed with another person, you can say, no, I'm not cheating, I'm polyamorous. Mm -hmm. And that's my identity, that's who I've always been. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you file for divorce, that's a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> and here I thought polyamorous meant you had sex with birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Polly want a cracker, got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And I am a cracker, so there you go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I can say that. 
Uh, oh, Rob, uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yeah. Happy holidays. It looks like Christmas exploded all over <laughs> me. Yes. Just the thought of this group of people having sex with each other is like some amount of like National Geographic. It's just like. <laughs> yeah. So when I'm listening to this story and I'm thinking about it, the thing that's the most offensive to me is just their looks. First of all, I mean, this guy looks like a cross between Norman Bates and somebody who can't be within a hundred feet of a playground. Yeah. So which is weird. And then the girlfriend. It's like imagine you're the actress that gets the. the gets the call to be her in the Hulu limited series. Yes. You go in the mirror and be like, oh, is this what I look like? <laughs> I mean, you know, this chick is at the bar at 5 a.m. and the last two guys decide to go home with each other. <laughs> I love how there's like billions are being swindled, but we are not going to let go of their looks. <laughs> it's like, we'll leave that for FBN. Like yeah. Fox Business handle the money yeah. stuff. Why are they so weird looking? <laughs> I don't know. If anything, it kind of gives hope to really ugly people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, that, they can, that they can be like just as manipulative as the rest of us. Right. <laughs> it's true. That is true. That is true. Oh, I just I never looked at it that way. But no, you did. Yeah. What do you what do you, do you have any other insights into what's going on? Do you know that he, he was denied bail because they considered him a flight risk? That's a piece of news. Yeah. I yeah. don't normally give news. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. The lawyer tried to argue for it, saying that he has ADD yeah. and depression and insomnia for the past 10 years. <laughs> and I'm like, am I supposed to be getting stuff for those? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Because I also have anxiety, and my ADD is combined type, and was so noticeable that it was diagnosed like 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm doing fine. You're doing great. Really am. Yeah, good for you, young lady. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she thinks she's on a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> we do this for therapy. Tyrus, uh, do you feel bad for the celebrities that were scammed by this guy? Or do you feel bad for anybody in this uh, whole scenario? Anybody who was scammed by sugar. Yeah, I'd be a little, <laughs> I'd be a little upset. Um, but it was his looks and their looks that made them be able to pull off what they did. Uh. They were unassuming, unthreatening. They were the exact opposite of what the progressives hate the most: people who look like me, mm. <laughs> men. Yes. They look the exact opposite. So when he comes and says, "I'm giving to charity." Even his horrible stepbrother-esque video that he made mm -hmm. still did made no sense. Yeah. And he ran out of ideas because if you're saving the planet, then the animals are kind of included. Mm -hmm. So he then went back to that. And when he opened his fridge, everything in his fridge, I don't think ketchup and mustard and, and <laughs> relish are big on the vegan list. Mm -hmm. But it is big when you eat a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> and he, he looks like he eats a lot of hot dogs. Uh, yes. But he's serious about the money. I mean, am I right in thinking, you correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't he the second biggest donor to the Democrats in yes. the last election cycle? Yes. Which might, you know, give the impression that Democrats aren't great at handling other people's money, right? <laughs> you know, I it don't know. It also means might... he might get epstein out in the middle of the Bahamas. Yeah. yeah, although he claims that he also gave money to the Republicans. He said he was giving money, to, but he said it was dark money. Yes. And if you think about that, 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 like he kept it in secret. He's more embarrassed about giving money to the Republicans <laughs> than money laundering and fraud. Yes. <laughs> so, excellent point. Yeah, yeah right. he's going to get Epstein. Yeah. <laughs> Thousand percent. <sighs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.